New tonight, a seven-year-old boy helped save his grandmother's life. She started having a stroke, and he quickly thought to use Siri to call for help. Our Sophia Beausoleil has that 911 call and a very special surprise for this young hero. She joins us live now right outside Memorial Hermann in the Woodlands. Sophia? Because that seven-year-old was able to stay cool, calm, and collective, he got his grandma the help she needed and got her to the hospital very quickly. All the way up top. All the way up top. For this grandma, oh. every movement, step, and thought is a testament to her strength. Just like he do, go to school and do better, I go to school and do better. It's been a week since Yvonne Pruitt had a stroke. She's on the road to recovery at Tier Memorial Herman the Woodlands Medical Center. But the outcome could have been different if it wasn't for her grandson. I love you. You love me. Give me a big kiss. <laughs> While his mom was on a business trip, Noble Kuntz's grandma watched over him. But something wasn't right. She opened the door and she was leaning on the side of the wall. His grandma was sweating, couldn't move her right arm, and had a tough time speaking. The seven-year-old thought to use Siri on grandma's phone to call his grandpa because she couldn't remember the passcode. I always use Siri, and I didn't know her passcode, so, and me and mommy always ask Siri questions. When his grandpa didn't answer, Noble then called 911. I was busy getting my bag because I'm supposed to be waiting. I'm supposed to be sleeping in school. And then granny comes on knocking the door. She opens the door. And I, and I see that she's crying. And thanks to his quick thinking to call for help, he saved his grandma's life. In my hero. My hero. The seven-year-old was recognized for his heroic actions. But you see, true to his name, Noble has always been a superhero. It's just now the rest of the world knows it. It's okay. I, I, I hate it. And there's nothing like a grandma and her grandkids bond. You know, Noble said that he was scared, but he remembered what his mom told him, that you have to have positive thoughts. And it's those positive thoughts that got him through this. Reporting live from the Woodlands, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.